Miss Samantha here for another week of worship and the Word of God, and I'm so excited to be with you this week. Are you guys excited and ready to worship and learn from God's Word together? Can you say it a little louder? Are you ready to worship with Miss Samantha? Okay, I think we're ready. Okay, but you know the drill, guys. You have to repeat after me. On the count of three, DJ, drop the beat. Okay? One, two, three. DJ, drop the beat. When I was searching, your love was never far. You made a way to get to me. You were the whisper leading me to your heart. Forever I belong to you.
Good morning, 180 kids. Welcome, boys and girls. My name is Miss Laura, and I'm gonna teach you about God's word today. So I'm gonna teach you our verse today that's found in Philippians 2, 8. And so I'm gonna teach you some signs that go along with it. Uh, the signs are called American Sign Language, or ASL. And this is the way that some people communicate when they can't use their words, they use their hands instead. So the verse goes like this. Being found in appearance as a man, he humbled himself in obedience, even in death, death on a cross. Okay, let's do it one more time. So it says, being in appearance as a man, this is the sign for man, he humbled himself in obedience, even in death, death on a cross. Okay, so that was it from Philippians 2, 8. You guys did such a great job practicing your verse today, and thank you so much for learning it with me. Wow! Worship was so much fun, boys and girls! Okay, the fun's not over. This week we're learning about Jesus being arrested. Have you guys ever been arrested? I hope not, um, because you're still too young to get arrested. But boys and girls, Jesus was arrested. Can you believe it? I couldn't either. Well, we're going to learn about all of that. And you can find this story in Matthew chapter 26 and 27. So let's take a listen. Jesus came with his disciples to a garden called Gethsemane. He said to them, sit here while I go over there and pray. Jesus took three of his disciples into the garden and Jesus became very sad and troubled. Jesus told the three disciples to stay there and he went a little farther. Jesus fell face down and prayed, Father, if it is possible, spare me from this, but I want to do your plan. Jesus came back and found the three disciples asleep. He asked Peter, couldn't you stay awake with me for one hour? Jesus went away and prayed a second time. Then he found his disciples sleeping again. He said, are you still asleep? Get up for it is almost time someone is going to betray me. Suddenly, Judas arrived with a large crowd carrying swords and clubs. Judas kissed Jesus so the crowd would know which man was Jesus. The men grabbed Jesus and arrested him. Peter pulled out his sword to fight the man, but Jesus told Peter to put away his sword. Jesus said, isn't this what God planned all along? Jesus' followers ran away, but Peter stayed nearby to watch. The men who arrested Jesus led him to the house of Caiaphas, the high priest. The religious leaders wanted a reason to kill Jesus, but they couldn't find one. The high priest asked, do you have anything to say? Are you the Messiah, the Son of God? Jesus replied, yes, that's right. The high priest said, aha, he has spoken against God. Caiaphas and the religious leaders did not want to believe that Jesus is God's son. They said Jesus was lying, but Jesus was telling the truth. The crowd said, he deserves to die. They spit in Jesus' face and hit him. A servant saw Peter and asked, aren't you one of Jesus' disciples? No, I'm not, Peter said. Twice more, as Peter watched what was happening to Jesus, someone asked him if he was a follower of Jesus. Peter lied. No, he said, I don't even know him. The next morning, the religious leaders decided how they would kill Jesus. Then they took him to Pilate, the governor. Jesus knew that his death was God's plan to save people from sin. Jesus' friends turned against him and he was arrested and put on trial. But Jesus followed his father's plan in order to bring salvation to the world. What a story, boys and girls. God's word is so powerful. Jesus being arrested. Can you believe it? God, the savior of the world, being arrested. 
But you know what, boys and girls? It was all part of God's plan. I know sometimes when things happen, like Jesus being arrested, sometimes when bad things happen, we think that can't be part of God's plan. But guess what, boys and girls? It can be. Just like when Jesus went to the Garden of Gethsemane, we just learned that right now, boys and girls, and the people, the soldiers, came and arrested him. Guess what? That wasn't a surprise to Jesus. He let them arrest him. And you know what? That was all part of God's plan. So today, can I encourage you, boys and girls, no matter what you're going through, if it's bad or good, that's okay. I want good things to happen for you, but can I encourage you, no matter what you're going through, God is in control. It's his plan. So can I pray for you today? Okay. Lord Jesus, I just praise you, Lord. I thank you that even um, like Jesus, who was arrested in the garden, Lord, that wasn't by accident, Lord. He allowed himself to be arrested because you had a plan for him to go to the cross. So, Lord, I thank you that even now, no matter what's happening in our lives, oh God, uh, for Zach, oh God, for uh, Cody, oh God, for um, Emma and Jenna and Audrey, Lord, it's all part of your plan. So, Lord, even now, Lord, I pray that you would um, help us to see your plan in the midst of whatever's happening in our lives, oh God. And um, I even pray for those bad situations that might be happening right now in our lives. Lord, I pray that your plan would come to pass. In Jesus' name, if there's any broken relationships, I pray that you would um, bring healing over them, Lord. If there's any sickness, I pray that you would even bring healing over any sickness, Lord. We just command and declare that um, your good and perfect plan would come to pass out of every situation. In Jesus' name, amen. Thanks for joining us, boys and girls. I'm so happy to see you this week. And don't forget, tell your parents to follow 180 Chicago on all social media platforms to continue the fun. And we'll see you there. Have a good week.